Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here. Good afternoon. I know a lot of you guys are probably stuck at home these days. Uh, you know, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Take care of one another. Today, I'm going to be riding my bike. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I made a bike riding video on YouTube. Today, we're going to ride around my neighborhood. Uh, it's a little bit cloudy right now. But it's just a passing, uh, passing clouds. I'm pretty sure it's going to get sunny during the bike ride. Uh, but I want to uh, make you guys feel like you have a chance to get outside through my videos. So um, yeah, let's go ride around and uh, have some fun. All right, here's my bike, guys. It's a little folding bike. Bought it online for $100 off of Dakuten, but uh, it does its job. It's very good, and uh, that's what we're going to be riding today. So I'm gonna try to keep this uh, stabilizer on my chest as stable as possible. It's, it's doing its job, but um, the chest harness itself is a little bit bouncy, so um, I don't trust it 100%. I gotta try to stay as steady as possible. Yeah, uh, today's a little bit windy, so if there is any wind noise in this video, that is another thing I apologize for. But we do have our um, lav mic with a windscreen on it, so it should be okay. But just in case there's like any kind of burst of wind, gusts of wind. Yeah, so this is a normal Japanese neighborhood. Tuesday, uh, 2 p.m. And this is uh, during Japan's Golden Week holiday. It's like a week-long celebration. There's like three different holidays that kind of all blend together. Everybody's off, stores are closed. Um, or stores are closing a little bit earlier. During Golden Week in my neighborhood, everything's closing around 7 p.m. Uh, when usually they close around uh, like 9 p.m., 10 p.m. All right, let's go a little faster. Uh, most people in Japan ride on the sidewalks. Some sidewalks even have a bike lane, but uh, in some neighborhoods like this where there is no sidewalk, uh, it's totally fine to ride in the street. But uh, yeah, you know, obviously you can stick to the little shoulder here like I am right now, or you can um, you know, actually ride on the sidewalk. It's uh, sometimes a little too dangerous to ride in the road. So either are okay. So this is 
This is a pedestrian and bike lane right here. So where are we going on this bike ride? I actually don't know. Um, I'm just gonna wander around randomly like I do on my walks. Except this time you get a much accelerated pace, a much more accelerated pace um, of video. It was actually kind of funny earlier. Um, so during Golden Week, the government and the police have been kindly asking people to uh, stay home. <laughs> They're like, don't go outside, don't go to parks, don't walk around. And uh, it's just funny because the, the cop cars announcing it from the, uh, the car speaker. And um, it's just driving by like a ton of people walking around telling everyone, uh, stay at home, stay home. So um, out here in Matsudo, it's pretty much just like middle income housing um, for the most part. There are some people in upper class, but uh, not like a whole bunch. But yeah, it's just uh, normal people, normal families living out here. So it's pretty chill. Bumpy roads, or bumpy sidewalk, I should say. Let's, uh, let's cross. He was running for his life, like he saw some kind of bug. It's a bug, run! Ah. So, oh, you can see in the distance the clouds. They're pretty dark over there. Um, so, I probably won't venture like too far from my house. But uh, if it starts like heavy, heavy downpouring, uh, we'll probably still keep going because this camera is uh, waterproof. I forget how many meters it can be submerged. Um, it's a GoPro Osmo, Ac oh, sorry, not GoPro. It's a DJI Osmo Action. And I'm using a, a Ziyun Rider 2 uh, gimbal stabilizer specifically for uh, like this, these kind of like action sports, uh, mounting to your helmet, to your chest. This is a supermarket right here. This 
so you can see uh, it's not like crowds and crowds of people, but you can definitely see people are out and about enjoying the nice weather. I'm wearing t-shirts and shorts. It's, it's warm. It's like 70 something, 70 degrees, 71 degrees today, Fahrenheit. It's nice and sunny all morning. So very comfortable ride. But here you can see there's some, some shops are just completely closed down. Uh, oh wait, never mind. That that place is actually just uh, empty. <laughs> They're looking for a tenant. Uh, but there are other shops that are closed, like uh, this restaurant right here, this shop right here. They're both closed, um, and they even have signs on them that say uh, they're closed due to coronavirus. They'll reopen uh, at a certain date, or uh, they have limited hours. Some of them are only open for like just a few hours in the evening time, trying to catch most people as they come home from work. And yep, there's a lot of people still commuting to work from home. So I think we're going to ride in the street here. Yeah, sucks cycling into the wind right now. It's blowing pretty hard. Oh, there we go. The sun is out. So we started off near my house. I just ate some sushi for lunch. Um, yeah, restaurants are open, guys. <laughs> um, and I know I should be staying home. I'm, I'm a hypocrite. Telling everybody to stay home, stay safe. And what am I doing? I'm going out. Riding my bike, walking around. But I don't really go to restaurants. But uh, today I just felt like I needed some sushi. It's been a long time, so. just kind of did it but um luckily the restaurant wasn't packed at all I took off my mask just now so I can breathe a little bit easier while cycling it's really hot but uh, if we ever get back into a, like a more crowded area I'll definitely uh, put it back on these are very pretty homes back here, very colorful. I wonder uh, what we'll find today on today's bike ride. This should be about a 45 minute to a one hour bike ride at the most. So don't worry, it's not one of my three hour long stream videos. We're trying to cover more ground in less time.
All right. Never been here before, ever. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect. But uh, there is this uh, beautiful bamboo forest over here. Yeah, can you see that? Wow. That's real nice. Very pretty. All right, I'm trying to adjust my, my straps. All right, there we go. Okay, now I know where I'm at. I've been here before. I just haven't come this uh, on this road. Wow, it's so dark in the distance. Man, we're gonna get some rain later for sure. Which is great. I've been planting a lot of vegetables and herbs on my balcony. So little little rain here and there is not gonna hurt. So there's this stream here. Um, which is overgrown with flowers and stuff, but uh, let me let me show it to you real quick. Just how beautiful this is. I gotta get off my bike to do it. But uh, yeah, check that out. This is uh, wow. You can see down into the stream. It's just clear water. There's no trash. This is just straight up like out here in the farmlands. Clean, clean water and uh, lots of yellow. So yeah, real nice. Um, all right, let's continue. So, um, you know, sometimes I get into little chats with just random people online, you know, whether it's a uh, YouTube comments or Instagram or something. And when they, they always think I'm in Tokyo for some reason, just by default, everyone just thinks people live in Tokyo, I guess. But, uh, sometimes people realize like, oh, you live in a Chiba prefecture. Why, why Chiba prefecture? And, they, and then the why questions start happening and which is cool. You know, it's like, why, why did I choose Chiba? Um, because of this, <laughs> like, just, there's no people really. I mean, there's people, obviously you saw people, but like, look, there's no cars, no people. There's just like farmland out here, fresh air. It's much cheaper to live. Um, pretty good place to raise a family. But um, yeah, I just enjoy this. I enjoy the nature. I enjoy the quiet. Uh, I'm not like super, super rural or anything like that. You know, I'm not like up north in Tohoku living in, on like a farm or something like that, which would be awesome, by the way. I would totally do that. But um, it's convenient enough that I'm, I can just enjoy a quiet life. And then when I have to, I commute into Tokyo for work. So, yeah, just in case nobody knew that, I'm sure most of you guys watching or my regular viewers or subscribers, you guys already know that. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Birds flying around, some crops. Looks like they got corn going. Uh, what's, what is this little road here? Let's scope this out. Little countryside ride. Where are we? I 
It's very windy though. Hmm. Some tires. It's just nice green everywhere. Green, green, green. Wow, there's a white truck in the middle of the green. This is great. I'm so glad I came out to ride my bike today. It was needed. I think I might just zigzag around here. This just seems like very comfortable and quiet. Uh, farmland stuff. There were some really old Japanese homes I could see like to my left and right so I might try to ride by them somehow. Hopefully you guys can see it in the video. I won't be sure uh, if it was or not until after I get home and then I watch it uh, before uploading. Yeah, it's time for that sunblock. Man, something I don't have right now, so. Uh, yeah, look at this. Whoa, they're clearing out this land here. There's this uh, gorgeous, gorgeous house on the right side. Oh my God, hold on. I gotta stop and look at this. Might wanna walk a little bit closer just to scope it out. Look at this, uh, the framing and the, this gate. This gate is so old. And then the siding. Wow. So these kinds of finds, guys. These kinds of finds riding around Japan, walking around Japan. It's just so nice. Ah, I keep saying that. I'll, I'll, I'll probably stop saying that. <laughs> I just can't get over it. I used to see this stuff when I was a kid all the time and I took it for granted back then because obviously I didn't know much else. <laughs> to me it was just like, oh yeah, this is just the neighborhood. But uh, after being away for 20 years and then coming back, uh, even though I've been back for more than one year, um, it still just like blows my mind like, man, if I could remember all the places I went to as a, a child in Japan, probably appreciate it a lot more now. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see where this road takes us. I wish I knew some of these farmers. I'm like, can I go in your house, please? <laughs> oh, oh, is there a snake? Hold on. Is it a dead snake? Sorry, we gotta scope this out, guys. Oh, uh, it's dead. Is it a um, mamushi? Mamushi snake? I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's uh, pretty dry. But uh, Japan has snakes, and um, a lot of areas they have a mamushi. It's a poisonous snake. So I, I don't know what the mamushi markings are on their body, but. Rip. Rest in peace.
Hmm. Left or right? Left or right? I'm gonna go left. Oh. The car coming was my sign. Do I go left or right? Left or right? Uh, why do I have a feeling this is gonna be someone's driveway? It's okay. If it is, we'll just turn around. Uh, pick up the pace a little bit. Interesting. So this is like really modern building here. Three stories, just deep in the, in the farmland. All right, let's go. this way. Oh, I think I'm, I'm riding back towards that uh, stream that we saw with the yellow flowers and stuff. Yeah, I, I think that's what's happening right now. Or at least I'm riding parallel to it, uh, going kind of south. I wonder what they're growing. Uh, a lot of big stones right here, big boulders. Ooh, it's a hot one. If we see a vending machine, I might need to get some kind of a tea, some kind of ice green tea or something. Um, so I do want to say this, guys. If you are enjoying this bike ride and you haven't given the video a thumbs up yet, please give a video, uh, the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Uh, it definitely helps me out with what I'm doing here. It helps the video gain some traction with the YouTube algorithms. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would just mean the world to me if you guys did that. We're slowly making our way to 100,000 subscribers. Slowly but surely, I'm in no rush. Uh, what is this? Is this a scrap? Looks like kind of like a salvage place. Yeah, like a metal scrap salvage place. A lot of a lot of metal beams, and I see a little bit of wood, but uh, mostly metal. And uh, to add on to this uh, spiel about my channel and whatnot, or the video itself, if you guys have questions or comments about anything that you saw, please leave them down below. I love reading what you guys have to say. I love reading about your questions and whatnot. I try to answer everybody as much as possible to the best of my ability. You guys know how I roll. <laughs> Haven't really seen anybody. Uh, we've seen a few farmers and like a car, like just out here. It's just so nice. Um, okay, it looks like we're getting away from the farms. Is that what's happening? I want to get back to that, to the, to the country. Take me home, country road. Is 
There's nobody coming, so I'm gonna just go. hear that airplane so we're not too far from I mean we are far but uh, we're relatively close to Narita Airport uh, from this area it's probably like a 45 uh, uh, mm, well, maybe almost an hour train ride to Narita uh, mm, maybe I'm, I'm just round rounding it up to an hour it might be a little bit longer might be a little bit shorter I don't know but uh, not not too far compared to like Tokyo uh, coming from Tokyo or going to Tokyo from Narita Airport. Uh, yesterday, last night, we had a 5.5 uh, earthquake. 5.5 on the Richter scale. It was a Japanese Shindo scale uh, 4 out here. Um, the epicenter was kind of out, like, clo real close to um, Narita Airport. And then, like, 10, 15 minutes later, there was an aftershock of 4. 6 or 4.7 a little bit further north in uh, Ibaraki prefecture so last night was a uh, nice and fun a lot of shaking a lot of swaying But uh, when you live in Japan or just pretty much anywhere along the Ring of Fire, the Pacific Ring of Fire, uh, you know, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, you know, Alaska, <laughs> Canada, Northwest, everywhere, just um, you get kind of used to earthquakes. Although I do have to say Japan does have its, whoa, what is this? Oh, this guy crashed up. Oh yeah, that guy ate it. He hit something. Hood's all popped up front wheel is stuck in the wheel well. Sucks. This is a car repair shop. Oh, and there's a Chevy. Is that a Suburban? I don't know. They've got all the emblems uh, taken off. So it's just black. I suppose if I lived out here, I'd probably want like some kind of a lifted off-road vehicle, just in case. Do some mud bogging, <laughs> some off-roading. All right, uh, we've got a major road coming up here. I feel like maybe I'm gonna just veer right. Hmm, what does my gut instinct say? I went left last time. So maybe this time I'll go, uh, I'll go right. Actually, I just passed by this alley that I wanna swing back to. Sorry if that like turn there just made you sick. But I think I saw a shrine. Yep. Belltech, what is that? <clears throat> A little small local neighborhood shrine. It's a tiny one. So that's kind of cool. And, um, yeah, we'll just we'll just go back. But it looks like there's this abandoned house right here, straight in front of us. So that's one thing you do see a lot of. Um, I'm noticing like walking around out here in Chiba, different areas of Chiba. There's a lot of um, abandoned homes. I think I read something, some article that said there's like 3.8 million abandoned homes in the entire country of Japan. So, it would be nice to get one of those. One day, one day, just go to the Inaka, get a fixer-upper, 
an old, like, I don't even know, old, like, Meiji era house or something. It'd be pretty fun, I think. Going right, uh, left is a hill, so we'll just go downhill. Let's go with the flow. There's a ramen shop right here. Kind of like a truck stop. Guys can stop by, take a break, take a nap, eat some ramen. Yeah, it seems like those dark clouds are uh, to the north of us and they're, they're keeping their distance. They're not coming this way. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to go straight. Got a 7-Eleven right here. Looks new. This parking lot is like brand new. Um, I'm gonna avoid going into the store with this uh, chest-mounted camera. It's pretty obvious I'm filming. <laughs> uh, so we'll try to find a vending machine. Just keep it simple. Oh, there's a uh, Sylvia right here. Oh, sorry, not Sylvia. Uh, Skyline. <laughs> I meant to say Skyline. The R34, I think. I used to be really into the Skylines. Um, I know everyone's like obsessed with the R34s and stuff, which is great. They're super powerful. But uh, the, the style, bo the body style of the 32 and the 33, those are my favorite. The, the yeah 32 33 GTR bodies oh so good so classic ooh it's hot So I think if I go on this road, uh, just a mental map, like, even though I haven't been here, um, I have a pretty good idea, like the sense of direction of where I'm going. If I go straight, it'll take me to Matsudo station area. So we're kind of doing like this big loop. And we're kind of making our way back now, sort of. Oh, so this is a Wanagaya area. Okay. Okay. Um, 
Let's go down this back road. Just randomly. So pretty. Uh, oh, what is that? An incinerator? Looks like a smokestack for some incinerator. Uh, maybe we can go through this way, over the river and through the woods. Unless this just goes straight to the incinerator and there's no way to go anywhere else. Um, let's see, vending machine. Uh, those are just like normal Coca-Cola products. Kind of want to get a, a different one, like a Japanese brand, like Daido or something. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to not cut through <laughs> to the other side. Let's just go find out. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, it dead ends at that big wall. All right, um, yeah, it's like some kind of big retaining wall. So I guess we have no option but to, yeah, let's loop back. I think we gotta loop back to the road again. Um, but there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff just back here, a lot of scrap appliances and light fixtures and just all kinds of stuff. There's like air conditioner parts, stove parts. Yeah, so uh, we're definitely near some kind of a recycling center. Plus they have the incinerator there. Wow, I see this really old car. Uh, I'm gonna ride my bike by it just to scope it out. These cars back here look abandoned almost. They're just like covered. Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. This. What is this? Is this. Yeah, I wonder what that is. I'm not too sure what the model is. I'll try to go to the back side. Um, this is someone's farm plot. Okay, so this thing says, on the back, it says 1953. Um, Citron, well, cit uh, sorry, Citroen, Citroen something. It's really faded, but it does say 1953 pretty clearly. That's a cool find back here. The interior is uh, not, not too shabby. Could be restored. I've always been into uh, old classic cars, retro stuff, just all historical cars. Cars in general, just uh, they used to interest me a lot. Lowriders and stuff like that. Um, hot rods, yeah, hot rods. Of an incline. Yeah, the azaleas are out, guys. Beginning of May, end of April, beginning of May, just tons of azalea. those spring flowers guys it's just so beautiful feels like summer though <laughs>
a lot of up and down motion on the stabilizer because of the freaking chest strap. It's not so tight. Sorry about that. Gotta try to avoid these uh, sidewalks as much as possible. A lot of bumps. I think I'm gonna go this way, to the right. Yeah, this is uh, going in the general direction of my home, so it's kind of the direction I want to be going in. over. There's a four-way intersection right here. Got a big scramble. Uh, there's a mommy marked, mommy marked. That guy has a scion. I forgot scions even exist. I haven't seen a scion since America. <laughs> I mean, you know, that I remembered. There might have been scions driving by me all this time and I just didn't notice. Yeah, I remember when those first came out. It was like the cool, cool thing they have for a little bit. Is it like that now? Do people in your country drive scions? Uh, what is this place? Central Kitchen. I think it's a, some kind of a food factory. Something about, Yo something about Yokohama. <laughs> I saw the kanji for Yokohama. such a nice day. I wish there was a swimming pool or like a, a nice river I could jump into. Nice cold river. Oh, that would be so beautiful. So moist. Um, <laughs> Kikona. Oh, I think that's a, is that a, that's not a pachinko place, is it? No, it's like a, okay, never mind. I'm just babbling right now, guys. I've never been here, so.
It is a pachinko place. Picona pachinko and slot. I was right. Wow. Wow. My, my uh, pachinko senses were tingling. I was like, I have a feeling this is a pachinko. And I was right. Let's go straight, Let's see what's this way. There's a Daiwa House Group Royal Home Center to my left. I know you guys can't see it, but uh, I wonder what that is. I've never been there. Is that like a Home Depot or something? Or like an Ikea or uh, maybe it's similar to Nitori we'll have to I'll have to uh, come back I just realized I haven't stopped at a vending machine <laughs> uh, okay okay next non coca-cola vending machine we will stop and we will get something uh, right here. This is Coca-Cola, but there's a white one right here. Okay, um, what do we want? There's a coffee, tea, lemonade. There's a je grape jelly drink. Also, this blue, blue Hawaii soda. This one here, blue Hawaii soda. I don't know. That doesn't sound too good. It's probably just full of sugar. Uh, white grape. Hmm. White grape might be good. Or apple. Hmm. Let's try the white grape. All right, gotta get my coins. Okay, here it is. White grape drink. I don't know if this, this looks like juice. It's, it doesn't look carbonated. I could be wrong though. All right, I'm not gonna take off my, uh, my strap because it's gonna be a, a lot of work to put it back on. So I'm just gonna try it out and let you guys know what I think. Ooh, it's not carbonated, very cold. Yeah, um, it doesn't taste like fresh white grape juice, but um, I mean, you can tell it's artificial, a little bit sugary, but um, not too, too sugary. Yeah, so this is good. Nice, refreshing drink. I'll probably be thirsty after this because it's sweet, but um, it's okay. We'll just keep going. So, yeah, I'm just on some back side street. I don't know where I'm at. I just have a general direct, like, sense of direction. So we'll just keep going this way. Hit the trash can. All right, that's good. Got to stay hydrated somehow. a one-way road for cars uh, but we're gonna go down um where is that? 
<laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Oh, wait, I think I have an idea of where I'm at. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know what this guy's doing. I'm gonna cross the street. Oh, I, I know where I'm at. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at. We're not too far from my house. So we'll just make my, my way back home and we'll wrap up the video. So maybe I wanna, yeah, I'll just veer off down some side streets here. Wee downhill. Uh, let's go this way. Right. Okay. Okay. We're in the clear, guys. Wow, I thought we went really far, but we're actually, <laughs> we just did a big loop. So we're like relatively close to where I started the video, uh, near the sushi place that I went to. But yeah, nice uh, chill back street here. So for those of you watching this video, um, how many of you guys go cycling? Like you do it all the time or you do it every weekend or something like that, like as, as a hobby, you know? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that I can just ride in the middle of the street just freely. A little bit of incline. <clears throat> Someone's washing their uh, kind of like, what is that, a burgundy red, candy apple red, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, skyline, veil side. Is that a skyline? I think it was. It's been so long since I've looked at the body of skylines, I kind of forget. I have to always look at the back. Gotta love hills. <sighs> yeah, so up ahead. I can see the uh, Shinkeisei line. Train just went by.
Ah, there's such a nice breeze. It feels fantastic. Yeah, so very close to my house. Uh, I'm gonna try to go to the supermarket real quick on the way back, pick up some provisions. Some, some uh, something, I don't know, some fish or chicken or something, something, some fresh meat. I'm all out of meat in my fridge and uh, getting low on veggies, but uh, it's okay. I'll make a, a trip tomorrow on my day off out to the, to the farmlands um, where they have kind of the honor system with the, the money box. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, in Japan, especially out in the countryside, there's a lot of older farmers. They don't want to just sit around and uh, guard their their produce that are for sale. So they just have kind of like a, a little box um, that you you put your money in. So you take what you want, you pay the proper price in the box and it's just complete honor system. There's no security camera. Um, yeah, it's just a trust, trust system. And uh, so there's an area that I go to for my fresh farm produce. As, as you saw in this video, there's a lot of farms kind of just in the surrounding areas. So there's one area specifically, they just have like tons of veggies, all kinds of awesome veggies for like a dollar, <laughs> for like a bundle of different veggies. So uh, yeah, up here should be the supermarket. And then I'll wrap up the stream. <laughs> forgot it was this road this is just a little back shortcut plus there's a little uh, um, private area for me to just kind of do my little end ending say bye to y'all without being like in front of the supermarket Yeah, so this is not the supermarket, but that uh, beige cream building in front is. So yeah, this is a pharmacy right here called Create. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, nice bike ride, got some good exercise in. It's pretty warm. So once I get this stuff, gonna go home, take a shower, chill. So. Thank you for watching guys please hit the subscribe button if you haven't like the video leave comments and questions and i'll see you next time all right peace out guys bye